the desire? Yes. Okay, good. So now, what's the question? Something about the father being the head? Yes. Uh, is the God the father the head? And, it depends uh, on what you mean by head. What like do you mean by Trinity, head? Like uh, in the Trinity, like uh, God the Father is the leader or the head and uh, yeah. Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit uh, subject themselves to them. Yeah. Like, now, uh, be, the final holy. decision or something is... Uh, Joe, Joe, breathe a little bit. Logos, calm down. Follow slowly so I can help you. You're speaking too fast and you're getting ahead of yourself. It depends on what you mean by head. If by head you mean the Son and the Spirit are inferior in nature... Because they're not God, but creatures, and that's why the Father is their head. Then that's false teaching. That's not scriptural. So the better question to ask, I'm going to ask so you can understand. What does it mean for the Father to be the head of the Son and the Spirit if he is their head? Can someone be your head and you still be equal to them? And I'm going to give you an example. Yes. If you're married, are you the head of your wife? If you're uh, married. It sounds like you're not married because the fact you hesitated. And answering that question, unless you are married and you're scared your wife is going to hear you. I'm 18, so no. Okay, so if you're, your father is the head of your mother, is your mother the head of your father? Not sure how to answer that, but I guess the father. Somebody, somebody's got to answer that because someone has to have authority in the household. So according to the Bible, who has authority? Your mother over your father, your father over your mother? The father Who's the head of the woman? First Corinthians 11.3. The father. So in First Corinthians 11, 3, it says man is the head of the woman, meaning God has ordained in the marriage, the husband is the head of the wife, and the husband and the wife are the head of the children. So the husband's the head of the wife. The children are subject to the father and the mother as their head. So my father is my head. My mother is my head. They have authority over me. But in the relationship between my father and mother, my father is the head. That's First Corinthians 11, 3. Okay. So. And then that's the same passage that says, and Christ is the head of every man, and God is the head of Christ. 1 Corinthians 11.3. God is the head of Christ. So if you define headship properly, because a lot of people use the term head, but they don't define it properly. That's why I'm trying to be careful and clear so you understand. Headship doesn't mean that the person who has authority over you or is, is your head is better than you, superior to you, more valuable, more worthy than you. It simply means that this person has authority over you, even though you may be equal in nature, essence, value, and dignity and honor. You got it? Okay. Yes, that answers the question. I'm okay, happy. so the father, by virtue of being the father, that's why he's the father who begets the son and from whom the spirit proceeds. He is the head of the son and spirit, without implying the son and the spirit are creatures who are inferior. Because they are eternal and inseparable from the Father, being one with Him because it's His nature that they possess eternally, inseparably, without beginning, without end. So if that's how you define it, then this would be what we call the monarchy of the Father, the monarchia. Right. So that's why I'm careful. I can't just say yes or no. I have to walk you through what it means and what it doesn't mean. It's just like I'm the head of my cat. I have a cat and I'm the head of my cat. But there, it's because in the eyes of God, I, a human being, am of greater value and worth than an animal. And animals are inferior in value to me. So not only am I greater in authority, I'm also greater in nature and value. But that's not true with fellow humans. I am not greater in value and dignity and worth than my daughters are. I'm not better than them in value. They are one with me in nature, one with me in essence. They are equally precious and valuable in the sight of God, though I, being their father, have authority over them. So I am head in that I have authority over them. So the Son and the Spirit subject themselves to the Father lovingly, willfully, and eternally. 